business, news media, whether it's print online or television, needs our attention. And the best way to get attention is, uh, unfortunately, to show violence because we're programmed to pay quick attention to things that affect the possibility of our survival. So um, if I'm someone who wants to know what's going on in the world, how do I engage with news reports in such a way that I don't get overwhelmed by all the violence? Uh, I was on a conference call recently with the Meta Center and Michael Nagler, who is one of the founders, or I think he's the founder. Um, they study alternatives to violence. And we were talking about, you know, what, what do you do with news with respect to uh, taking in the information and not getting overwhelmed by it. And so Michael talked about a few things, and I'm going to share a few of those with you and give you a chance to go check out more of his work as well. Um, one of the things is to look at the different levels of which how we're interacting with the news report. So we can be passive. We can simply let the information uh, come at us. We can get drowned in details. We can almost relive a crime or a violent act. Um, and we can feel as if there's nothing we can do. So that would be the passive way to interact with the news report. Another way is to be critical. So to read between the lines, to be uh, a little curious about how things are being portrayed and what information is shared and what is not, what qu questions are being asked and which questions are not. And then lastly, in uh, last approach is active. How can I figure out the part I will play considering what is going on here. So one of the ways into that active role is to ask yourself some questions. Uh, I'm going to just choose three that were meaningful to me. I think they gave us about seven or eight on this call. So one of the questions that this is the most powerful one for me, what is the author or the speaker telling us about what a human being is? So is the story that we're just a bunch of animals competing for resources, which would offer a very different lens for a news event? Or is there a sense that we're interdependent beings with a shared purpose? You know, that would be another different lens. What is a human being to the speaker and author? And how does that either fit or not fit with our understanding of what human beings and who human beings are? So that's one question. Then the next question is, what can I do right now? In this moment, if I'm getting overwhelmed by news, uh, what I tend to do is I try to breathe if I remember uh, that I don't have to let my nervous system get all worked up. I can breathe, I can ground myself. There's, you know, everyone has their own spiritual practice or a way to, to come back to their center. And for me, one of the things I like to do is I like to uh, either journal if it's something that's really getting me or I might do a video like this or an article and publicly express with the intention to support people in grounding so that they're at their best rather than triggered. Um, and then if I think like this is something I want to share with other people, the last question is, how can I share this in a way that empowers people rather than simply passes along the, the trauma or the trigger? Um, and I think that's just a simply a matter of intention. You know, if I'm about to share something on Facebook, what is my intention? What is my intention in sharing this? Is it to pass along the agitation? Well, I hope it's not, but if it's something else like, hey, I'd like to encourage people to take a certain kind of action or just know that I'm taking this action, how can I actually uh, pass along empowerment instead of agitation? So I hope this is useful. Um, I know it's really, it was use, useful for me. Check out uh, Michael Nagler and the Meta Center, and I will see you next time.